Okay, so we'll now go to the analysis print tab. This is very quick. Analysis print, click. Then use perform analysis. Then no print, then add. This is just a command to start at that start should perform analysis. So close. And that's it. Next will be the design. Design tab. Click. We have the options steel, concrete design, timber, aluminum footing, and sheer wall wall design. In our case we will be using the concrete design and the footing design for our footing. Okay, so concrete, click concrete, then define parameters. Click define parameters. But first, if you want to have a different code to use when you design beams or design the concrete structure, you have to click or choose the appropriate code. The default code used here is AZI code. So if you want to change it, just click here. AZI is chosen, Australian, British Standard, Canadian, Chinese, and so on. So we'll be using AZI as the default, so leave it there. The next is define parameters. But first, it's much easier if you choose the members first. So choose all the members, click and highlight, then release all the concrete members are highlighted then click define parameters now these are the parameters for your beam and column design so we have to define those okay so first is fy main or the yield strength of the main reinforcing steel so if it's 413 mega Pascal, then that's it, 413,688 kilonewton per square meter for the main bars. For the secondary bars, yield strength, let's say 275 MPA. Oh, sorry. Go back to FY main. Go back to FY main, then click assign. Okay. Then for the FY secondary main bars or secondary bars you also click assign then for the compressive strength let's say 20.7 20 that's 20,700 kilometer per square meter let's assign again then the S phase leave it there default 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 depth default minimum main bar so for our minimum main usually our minimum main is 12 mm diameter so put 12 then assign minimum secondary bars for stirrups and lateral ties or spirals say 10 assign at the top options maximum main so let's say you want the maximum main bar to be 20 mm and not go farther than that so 20 mm assign then reinforcing if your columns are tied or square is tied if it's circular and spiral in our case it's tied so check select this one select this one then assign moment magnification factor leave it there number of section designed by stad this the default is 12 sections per beam let's leave it there track just use one Or let's just say just check two. This is the bigger the number or the 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 bigger the number the more detailed the output is. So this one is the uh, detailed output design output instead. So choose two, then the clear coverings at the top. That's one one half inch in meters. Leave it as default. Clear covering at the bottom. Leave it leave it as a default. If you want to change it, of course change it. Then assign. If it's default, no need to assign. Then the clear covering at the sides. 
default no need to assign close click close then of course all your parameters are assigned and that is clearly indicated here because the icon here is checked so meaning these parameters are assigned to these members okay next is the commands let's click your commands first what's the option design beam design column design slab design or takeoff so we don't have slab we don't need a takeoff for the volume of concrete and weight of steel reinforcement just leave it there we need to design the beam only and add the, the column okay so we have to design beam first but first we close this one okay we will select the beam only so we will select the beam only control click okay all the beams are selected go back to the commands then choose design beam then assign then close then after that one select the beam the columns so that we can design the columns okay so go to the commands button then click design column tab no more options just click assign then close so we have now designed the beam based on these parameters and we have designed the columns based on these parameters next is the footing design to complete our uh, uh, design and analysis click footing okay so again there's three parameters here or three buttons and code so we have the american code then we have the parameters select parameters no need for that just click, go to define parameters but before that again you choose the footing first so that you can assign these parameters so how to choose you cannot choose it directly because your cursor is a members cursor so you can only select the members cursor you need to select the node or this point okay so click this one this is the nodes cursor we're currently at the beams cursor that's why you can select the beams if you want to select the nodes click this one then highlight the nodes only nodes will be selected so again control then click okay so we have selected the nodes for our footing define parameters now what is the yield strength of the reinforcement steel let's say 413,000 assign FC compressive strength of the footing concrete concrete footing let's say 2700 bearing capacity so all bearing capacity let's say 200 that's the data from your soil boring test or geotechnical test so let's say assume 200 okay assign then clear covering of the slab let's say I'm not sure with the code right now so let's say one and a half point zero three eight I think this is much more larger because this is exposed to earth just check on your current codes and this one is just an assumption assign depth minimum depth so the thickness of your footing the minimum thickness of your footing for this design let's say 0.2 if stad computes that that minimum depth is not not sufficient then he will increase it or stad will increase it automatically assign then just leave it there because we want to design a square footing okay leave this two s1 and s2 
then embedment of course so so embedment is the I will just leave this one okay so then let's go to reinforcement our main reinforcement bar will be let's say 16 16 then assign then f factor let leave this one ratio between slab sides leave this one track we have here uh, number two choose number two so that we can view the sketch also aside from the numerical output of the footing you can also just see the sketch of the footing then we have the pedestal if you do a pedestal but we will not do a pedestal design so just leave it there then close after that one click the command button then there's no option just design the footing assign click assign then close so if you can see we have here start footing design by using these parameters and that's it